Good morning everybody. I'm doing a video this morning because I get the sense that people are finally starting to come out of their stupor um, on the groups on Facebook especially. Um, certain people are realising the same as myself that something has got to be done about the problem with Islam in this country and it's got to be done very soon otherwise they will roll us over without much of a problem because they're, they're doing it on a stealth basis at the moment. What they need is they need resistance against them to show them for what they are. And once they're shown for what they are, then the rest of the country will hopefully get behind uh, uh, we the patriot, patriotic informed people that know what is going on because we don't bother watching the BBC or crap like that. We actually use the real news, which you can find in many, many places on uh, the internet, especially YouTube. YouTube videos are fantastic because they're made by real people who are at the point of an event. They're not just reporting on it from thousands of miles away. Um, the purpose of this video is to inform you that uh, though it seems silly to keep starting group after group after group um, because we actually need to amalgamate these groups but I have started a new one um, called English Militia which is a Facebook group that's English and Militia is spelled M-I-L-I-T-I-A so if you want to join that um, especially if you're ex-services, uh, you've got self-defense skills, uh, survival skills, um, but anybody is welcome to join as long as you're passionate about stopping Islam and you're willing to come out and go on the streets and do so and not just talk about it. If you're just a talker, then I'm not interested in that group. Um, I am asking people on this group to join at BritishWarriorWithin.com It's not compulsory. I'm also asking now for a £10 membership fee, a one-off £10 membership fee, to join BritishWarriorWithin.com But I will not be enforcing that. I will not be saying you cannot join the group unless you pay that. It's just that I am slowly but surely being skinted by the amount of fees I'm incurring um, using the internet, domain names, different advertising. You, you'd be surprised once you go into it, they say everything's free and then you've got to add this and you've got to add that and then you've got to add that and then you need that and it, it all costs money. Uh, I've also been trying to get a shop up and running which to get the initial goods to test them out to see what they were like, that, that has cost money to... I'm not in this to make a profit. Um, Oh, there's no way I could make a profit. Even if a million people... No, that's, that's a bit of an exaggeration, isn't it? If a hundred people signed up at £10, that, that would probably last six months at the best. Especially if we progress as a group, uh, more and more costs will be incurred. And all I'm asking you to do is to share those costs amongst yourself at a very low level. Because £10 for lifetime membership's pretty damn good, isn't it? I think, yeah, I would have thought so. But again, if, if you literally are one of those people, because I've been there and really I, I could be in that situation now, I'm just not paying things I should be paying. If you literally haven't got 10 pounds, you can't pay 10 pounds, can you? But just be honest with yourself, be honest with me. If you can pay 10 pounds to join, please do. It's Go to the British Warrior Within, again, there you go, dot com site. Um, you can go into the front page without being a member. You can go into most pages apart from two. There's only two members pages. And um, just go to the top of any of those pages, you see a donate button. It's actually a PayPal button, which allows you to pay through your PayPal account, but they also allow you to pay by a card. So, there's no excuses saying, well, I haven't got a PayPal account. 
because I'm sure everybody's got a debit card. Um, it will help me massively. And talking about that, I would like to take this opportunity to give a massive thanks to those people who donated yesterday. It all helps, every single penny. That money will be going to getting leaflets to get out into the community and inform all these people that are living in their little bubble. Because we need more people to be on our side. People think we're some kind of conspiracy theorists or raging racist nationalists. Nationalists, maybe. Racist, no. Raging, no. Nationalist pride. What's, what's wrong with nationalist pride? I, I, I don't. I don't get that one. I, if it's a case of the world all living together, yeah, maybe that could work. But it's not, is it? Because all the time you've got groups of people like the Islamic ideology, which is its whole mantra is to kill unbelievers and to dominate the world and subjugate men, women, children, animals. Um, let's put it this way, if you're a dog lover, if Islam takes over, they will probably kill all the dogs because they think they're dirty. And your bacon sandwich is gone right up the spout. You never have bacon again. I know that's simplifying things, but sometimes simplifying it gets through to people a bit more. Anyway, I always uh, go off on a tangent. The main thing is to get this group going between BritishWarrior.com, sorry, BritishWarriorWithin.com, I don't even know the name myself, and um, English Militia. Sorry, I'm tired, didn't sleep well. Yeah, that's BritishWarriorWithin.com and English Militia because we need some expertise which I haven't got. I've read a lot, I've trained at home doing different things, but it's not the same as having done it in real life. And I admire all those people that have been able to do it. Something I wanted to do when I was younger. But I won't, I won't go into that. Basically, I met my first first wife. And I was just about to go into one of the armed services. And I didn't go in. No. Big regret. Uh, but now is the time, isn't it? You know what's going on. You lot know it. I, I don't have to convince you. I do have to convince you that you need to be informing others. You mustn't be scared of telling other people, speaking about it openly. If they call you mad and nutter, if you lose a couple of friends, were they really friends? Because if you believe in it enough, then you shouldn't be afraid to say it, should you? Because if you believe that our country is going to be lost to Islam, to not speak about it, is tantamount to some sort of crime, really, isn't it? Well, yeah, a bit harsh, but but it is. Um, it's a form of treason, really. If we, we we know something's happening to our country, and we don't do anything at all about it. So, um, there's a few people who have really been shown an interest, you know who you are, and I'd really like us to get together, talk, um, work out what we want to do between us. Um, I know what the end goal is, but the tactics that we use to reach that end goal, um, there could be a multitude of ways of achieving that. At the moment, I'm having to limit my ideas to what the small amount of people we have at the moment are capable of doing, which really is getting leaflets out, informing people, trying to um, go to areas where there's an Islamic candidate for the uh, 
June general election and try and get it out there, the information, and if you keep letting these Islamists into our government, that they will take over our government and it will become an Islamic government. Look what's happened with that twat Sadiq Khan. This is all fact. It's happening. Bloody bird. Yeah, this, this is all happening. It's undeniable. The atrocities are happening. You go out onto certain London streets at certain times of day or night and you, are, you will think you're in a different country and you'll be scared shitless. This all needs to stop. We can't let this go on anymore. And now is the time to act. Please get behind this movement to make a stand. There are lots of other groups around and we need to contact them. We need to join together. But we need to show ourselves to be a competent, organised group ourselves before they will take us seriously. And we need our own little infrastructure. We need our own little hub, which is why I'm asking for funding, because I can't do much just with a, a desktop. And that's about it. We need a little bit more technology than that, even if it's simply a, a decent microphone so you can hear me properly. I'm not asking to be the Kaiser or the King, the Big Cheese, whatever, but I do want to be up there helping make the decisions because it's my country, it's my family, and it's my families and my future. So I want to be part of that. But if there's somebody far better qualified than me to, to take the reins, then just let me know and I will bow to you and I will happily be an advisor and uh, we can work together. I don't want any raving nutters that are going to go out there and stab um, a Muslim and say, I did this for blah 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 because that's not what we want we want to actually stop it before it gets to that stage we want to put them back on their boats back to where they come from by using numbers by using intellect and only using force if it's totally totally necessary because once you start using force it will degenerate into a civil war and then it's anybody's that said, we must be prepared to be able to fight that battle if it occurs. At the moment, they will be far more prepared than we are. And this is why we need experts, uh, people with skill sets, that have been there, seen it, done it, so that we at least have got some idea of what to use, how to use it, because it would be very much uh, a guerrilla warfare type scenario, because uh, I hope that the army would be involved on our side, but they may be overwhelmed, which is where we come in. So keep this certain parts of it under your hat, don't go blabbing it all over the place. Um, I know it's on video, but only certain people are going to watch a video. We mustn't have this fear or paranoia that the establishment are going to come and take us away for wanting to save Britain. But, well, something wrong. I know, I know Tommy Robinson gets it all the time, but he puts himself in situations where they're almost forced to butt heads with him and they don't want to lose do they even though he's in the right most of the time so here we go this this is probably it. it it's time to roll up our sleeves and use the spirit that our, our ancestors had to show over the last century i look forward to hearing from people let others know 
get them involved.